I ain't seen it. Yes, sir. But yeah, man. Um, according to reports today, Stacy Dash Sam Ant was arrested for domestic battery. Actually, on Sunday. Now the incident took place. They said around seven forty-five p.m. Where she allegedly scratched a man in his face. I guess either her husband or her boyfriend. And um, you know, when the police arrived, they said the victim sustained red scratch marches to the leper, excuse me, left upper arm. Um, and they, you know, there's a video out there from the Tampa Bay Times where they are arresting her. You see her there on the screen if you're watching on YouTube and bringing her in to custody. Now her bail was set at about 500. I'm sure she made that and got out. Your thoughts on Stacy Dash, Sam Ant, Clueless, Clueless, and all the other movies being arrested. <laughs> she beat her uh, husband's ass a little bit and got arrested. Hmm. Apparently for the, you know, I think the first time it happened, but. Maybe she got a black card turned back in. I don't know. Damn. It seems like it. Sounds like it. Now, Definitely. I mean, last time we heard of Stacey Dash, she was a Fox News commentator. Yep. Giving her thoughts and opinions on Obama, Donald Trump, Republicans, blacks, Democrats, people that eat Cheetos, all kind of shit. Mm -hmm. um, and now she looks like to be in a situation I haven't. Now, I mean, this has been the year to see everything. I've seen all kind of people be put behind handcuffs, but this seems to me like this was just a little extra. I've never seen a woman, to That's my crazy. knowledge, get put in handcuffs on camera and walked out for domestic violence in my life. That's, it, it is crazy. It's I've definitely crazy. It, so yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's definitely crazy. Like you said, man, black card is definitely been taken um that was the first thing thought that actually came to my head i'm like nah this ain't happening this was britney spears or christina aguilera hell that wasn't no happening. you wasn't seeing this so not at all definitely you would have seen her walking out of jail because somebody would have been there snapping pictures but never handcuffed damn sure not on video right right Lindsay so, lohan would never be on camera getting fucked not at all i ain't heard from her lately how's she doing you know <laughs> nah brother i don't <laughs> She used to always be in the news, though, man. Always you wilding the fuck out and doing stupid shit. And Maybe that's a good thing. She probably, nah, I'm not even going to go there. So with her. Hopefully she good. Yeah, sir. But yeah, man, Stacey Dash, who was the cousin of Dame Dash, if I'm not mistaken. In, in legal trouble there. Uh, it's you not know, a good look. Not, not at all, man. But you're tuning into the Hip Hop Uncensored Podcast with your brother, Old God and Sam. Man. We're going in today on this Monday. You're tuned into episode 237. If you like the content that you're listening to, go ahead and hit that five-star rating. And leave a comment at the bottom to let us know what you like about the podcast. We definitely appreciate everybody's participation in advance. Now, Uncle Luke, Sam at Miami legend, spoke out about Jay-Z's um, people that he picked to perform at the halftime show. Now, we know that the Super Bowl is going to be in Miami this year. So a lot of people wanted Jay-Z to at least pick people from miami right well uncle luke has something to say about jay-z's selection of j-lo and shakira for the super bowl halftime show here's the audio fam let's do it 